Uh, what's up, everybody? It's three one three J Mo. Um, uh, first thing first, shout out to the Ravens for getting Lamar Jackson. That's that's gonna turn out real good for them in the long run. Building a team around him because we know Flacco is washed. He's trash. Like how good Flacco used to be. That great playoff run he had. Even though he played good during that playoff run, his key, his team carried him to a championship. But uh. Lamar is gonna do them well. Um, Lions selected Frank uh, Ragnall, uh, number twenty. Uh, you know, overall pick. Um, I'm I'm split on the pick only because uh, I feel like we could have got him or Billy Price or Will Hernandez in the second round. So in the first round, why not get a running back? Why why not get Harold Landry? I don't know why Harold Landry's stock is falling, but people are fucking idiots. The dude, the dude is better pass rusher than than Davenport and uh, the other kid, Deron Payne from Alabama. And look at and looking at the way the draft went, you know, a couple wide receivers got picked up in the late rounds. A safety got picked up, you know, uh, Tremaine Edmonds' brother. You know, and Lamar got picked up. So I'm just saying, him. Or Billy Price, for that matter, they would have been available in the second round. So why not get something else? That's the only reason why I'm 50 50. I already told y'all I wanted an offensive lineman or a running back in the first round. We got an offensive lineman. I'm mad we didn't get a running back. Can't believe y'all know I'm a huge Rashad Penny fan. So, but I can't believe Rashad Penny or Sony Michelle got picked over Darius Guys, A lot of people making a lot of mistakes, but good for us. Looks like if we get lucky, Darius Guys gonna fall to us. And even if Darius Geis don't fall to us, Royce Freeman will fall to us in the second round. But I'm not sold on the Lions taking a running back in the second round. What I'm hoping is they're trying to build something up front on the offensive side. And basically what they would do, they're going to get the center, get the running back, and then focus all the all the other four picks on our defense, which would be smart to me. Whether they got it in the first round or the second round, as long as the first first two rounds, if y'all get it. Um, Frank Wagner hasn't allowed a sack in his career. No QB hits in 2016, 2017. You know. So he's a great center. And I know for a fact he's gonna be better than Travis Swanson. I don't know how good he is going to be, but he he he's a big dude. And he can play three positions, so he might be the guard next to Taylor Decker, and we just have Glasgow at center. And if Glasgow ever get hurt, we can move Rat Wagner to center. I mean, excuse me. Well, I think about this, man. Bob Quinn trying to build a foundation. And what did I tell y'all? If y'all listen to my videos when I be talking about the Lions, I told y'all a lot of times. There's no way in hell Bob Quinn going this offseason without getting a fucking guard. What did I tell y'all? He either going to get one in free agency or he going to get one in the draft. Got a center who can play guard. Uh, there was no one in hell Stafford gets 48 times and someone from the Patriots organization not about to get him an offensive lineman. Like, there's no way in hell that's going to happen. They going to protect our fucking quarterback. And the one thing I've been telling people, our defense can suck. Our running game can suck. Our receivers could be garbage. But the one thing that can always win you games when you have a quarterback is an offensive fucking line. The Patriots were number one in offense and their running game was garbage. They had the best offense in the league without a running game. And we know that's Brady. But my point is, even without a running game, if Stafford is protected, we can easily win a lot of games. Think about it. Stafford wasn't protected last year at all. We won nine games. Just imagine if the Carolina game or the second Minnesota game or, um, you know, one of them other games, he was upright, wasn't getting hit, and we still didn't have a running game. I think Ragnow is going to help us in the running game. He's going to help protect our quarterback, and I think he's going to help solidify the line. And Lions fans, whether you like this or not, dude, how long are we not going to protect Stafford? This is not the flashy pick. I bet you when we got Taylor Decker, a lot of y'all didn't want to get Taylor Decker. 
This is not the flashy pick. It's a Patriots pick because you see the fucking Patriots pick fuck a fucking tackle in the first round. Then they picked a uh, uh what did they pick a safety I think. But you see what the Patriots this is the Patriots do. We we protecting that damn court. We just spent one hundred thirty five million dollars on this nigga dog. If we ain't protecting him with the utmost sense of urgency after him getting sacked the most times in his career, we're doing something wrong. Well, we'll see what we do in the second round, you know. And the one thing is, like, I'm different than most people. I'm giving Bob Quinn a pass. Like, even if he fucked up this year, I'm giving him a pass. Why the fuck you giving Bob Quinn a pass? Well, he got us, t- not T. Staber. He got us Kenny Galladay and Jamal Agnew, a third and fifth round pick. That if you want to be real outside of Jared Davis and maybe Taylor Decker, like they're they're the best people we got out the draft and they're a third and fourth, fifth round pick. I'm saying that to say, if he can do that, he gonna hit on one of these picks. Like one of these six picks is gonna be a bona fide hit. But I know about Quinn, it's gonna be two of them. And then it might be a sixth round pick. Whoever know, maybe Anthony Zetto that turns out to be a monster, but like Bob Quinn, I think he's earned our respect. Y'all Lions fans, I'm about to go. Y'all Lions fans got to stop. This is what the Lions do. This is what the Lions do. No. We under a new regime. We've been under a new regime for two years. This regime is not the same. They've been doing things differently. Drafting great players. Doing what they should do in free agency. Maybe not this year. We wanted them to do more. They've been doing. This is not the same old Lions because it's not the same old person at the helm. Okay, so the moves we're making is for the future of our organization. And I saw the little things Matt Patricia had to say about him. Matt Patricia sold on this guy. And if Matt Patricia sold on the guy, I'm going to ride with the people who know what the fuck they doing and not the Lions fans who got a bunch of biased opinions. And I know for one thing, if Bob Quinn ain't good at nothing else, it's drafting. If he tried the free agency, if he should have fired Caldwell earlier, one thing that I trust Bob Quinn is drafting. This guy, Frank Wang, now is going to be a great fucking player. I'm saying it now. At least give him a chance. But there's no way Bob Quinn is going to draft this nigga if he can't play. Not in the first round. Bob Quinn don't fuck up in the first round. But uh, that's all I got to say about that. We'll see what happens later on, man. Y- y'all have a good day, man. It's 313. J-Mo, I know a lot of Lions fans upset, but I'm not going to say trust the process. So fuck Philly. Uh, Believe in Bob Quinn. You know, what has Bob Quinn shown you he can do in the draft? He's done so many. Like, these past two drafts that Bob Quinn got is better than any draft any Mayhew or any other guys ever had. And the one draft where Stafford and Levy got drafted, they got lucky because Stafford was Stafford, you know. And Darius Slay and Ziggy and Sue, that was all luck. Only one I won't call luck is Ziggy because I think that was a ballsy move and we went out and got him. But, you know, I, I just trust the management, man. Like, get out your feelings and think about our damn fucking quarterback who out here limping on the field still throwing touchdowns. I'm out of here, man. 313 J-Mo.